This message is for Reverend Fred Phelps of the Westboro Church in Topeka, Kansas. God hates fags? Really? I would think that God hates people throwing stones at his son, or putting a crown of thorns on his head, or even nailing him to a wooden cross and standing there and watching him die. God should hate something that really matters, like, I don't know, Brussels sprouts? God doesn't hate fags, Mr. Phelps. God doesn't hate anyone. You hate fags. For years, I've sat back and listened to you spew your hatred for fags and blame them for all the monstrosities that have happened in the world. In your opinion, we're responsible for 9-11 and all the wars. I didn't know that I had that much power. Wow, I'm a super fag and I control the world. We are not responsible. Terrorists are responsible. You need to wake up and realize just where the responsibility lies. I was appalled and sickened when you picketed Matthew Shepard's funeral. That poor child was murdered for simply being who he is. Did you ever stop and think about how his mother, Judy Shepard, felt looking outside that church and seeing you standing out there condemning her son's soul to hell. I feel sorry for your mother. I know your mother did not raise you to be such a hateful person. What happened in your life that made you hate the world and everybody in it? I have learned the people who run around saying fag this and fag that are really repressed homosexuals themselves. It's true. There have been studies to prove it. It's okay, Mr. Phelps. Come out of your closet. Embrace your gayness. Really, it's okay. Go ahead. Taste the rainbow. It's yummy. In closing, you need to know we're not fags, buddy. We are a fag is a cigarette. We are gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgendered human beings, and we are proud of the people that we have become. You too are also a human being, but you're the worst kind. You are the kind that's filled with hatred and disrespect for others. You call yourself a Christian? Your behavior is not Christ-like. Your behavior is hate-like. Unless you ask for forgiveness, and repent for your sins, when you're standing before God, he is going to condemn your soul to hell for all eternity. Why don't you just stop, shut up, and let him sort it out? Because in reality, it's his job, not yours. My heart used to be filled with hatred for you, but now it's filled with pity, shame, sympathy, and disgust. Because really, Mr. Phelps, you disgust me. I am a Christian, and I will pray for your soul. I pray the day comes when your soul is filled with love and happiness. Because until then, you're just another hateful person living on my earth. God bless you, Mr. Phelps. Really, God bless him, please.